good morning dear students today i am before you to present a new lesson in geography lesson number 6 india water resources uh, very good morning dear teachers uh, please uh, tell your students to make use of this opportunity to know all the multiple choice of this lesson this lesson consists about uh, 23 multiple choice and five fill up the blanks given in the textbook this will help them uh, to score well uh, and also boost their confidence uh, to face annual examination the questions are simple straight easy definitely you will do it thank you welcome to the sixth lesson in geography india the water resources dear students Welcome to Social Science Geography, the sixth lesson, Unit Number Six, India Water Resources. So, MCQ questions are before you, ready to answer. Hope you will score out of out here. Hope you will answer all the questions. If not, you learn it. First question is before you. River Krishna rises near. So, you need to know the birthplace of all the rivers. in our textbook nearly 7 to 8 different south indian and even north indian rivers are mentioned you need to know the tributaries of them and also the birthplace any of them can be asked river krishna rises near option a triambaka option b mahabaleshwara option c nasik option b d marble gorge the correct answer is mahabaleshwara it is in maharashtra it is in the western ghat or sahyadri there in mahabaleshwar it is believed that river krishna rises mcq question number 2 river indus rises near so river indus or sindhu river rises near at mount kailash mount amarakantak mount ketu mount kanchanajunga where exactly river sindhu or indus takes its birth the correct answer here is mount kailash in the himalayan mountains mount kailash gives birth to river sindhu mcq question number 3 many rivers flow across south india they are also known as eastern flowing rivers western flowing rivers peninsular rivers northern rivers which is the correct answer dear students among the given options the south indian rivers are also known as peninsula rivers because we are the south india is also called the plateau of peninsula this area is also called plateau plateau of peninsula that's why it is the rivers which flow here are called peninsula rivers mcq question number 4 river ganga rises near so where exactly ganga river takes its birth mount everest mount karakoram gangotri glacier manasa sarovara among the option yes in the answer itself you have the clue it is gangotri glacier yamuna river takes its birth in yamunotri glacier ganga river takes its birth in gangotri glacier mcq question number 5 pick the odd one out bedti sharavati bhima and netravati these are the rivers given here you need to pick the odd one out so which one you pick bedti sharavati bhima netravati dear students you need to remove bhima because bhima is a tributary of river krishna rest of all flow westward and join arabian sea whereas bhima join krishna along with krishna it joins a bay of bengal mcq question number 6 the river brahmaputra rises near chimayundang glacier mountains of nepal mount kailash ganga sagar where exactly brahmaputra river takes its birth dear students you know very well the option correct option here is chimayundang glacier mcq question number 7 amarakantak hills is the birthplace of river tapi mandovi narmada godavari that means which river takes its birth in amarakantak or amarakantak is a place Uh, the birthplace of river narmada narmada is the correct answer mcq question number 8 jhelum chenab bees 
Ravi and Satlej are the tributaries of Ganga, Brahmaputra, Indus, Yamuna. Which is the correct answer? Jilam, Chanab, Bees, Ravi and Satlej are the tributaries of river Indus. MCQ question number 9. The Mahanadi rises in Sivaha range, Jharkhand plateau, Michael range, Ganga Sagar. The correct answer here is Sivaha range or Sihawa range. MCQ question number 10. Kapila, Arkavati, Lakshmana Tirtha, Suvarnavati, Bhavani are the main tributaries of River Krishna, Godavari, Mahanadi, Kaveri. So among the correct among the options, the correct choice is River Kaveri. Congratulations. Now let us go to the next question. MCQ number 11. River Narmada rises in Sihawa Range, Amarakantak Plateau, Mahabaleshwara, Triambaka. So River Narmada rises in Amarakantak Plateau in Michael Range of Mountains in Madhya Pradesh and flows westward through Madhya Pradesh, Gujar, Maharashtra and Gujarat. Through Marble Gauge, it joins Arabian Sea. Now, let us go to the next question. MCQ number 12. Mandovi Zuari flow in the state of River Mandovi and Zuari, they flow in the state of Goa. MCQ number 13. Damodar Valley project has been designed on the lines of Tennessee Valley project, KRS project, Alamatti project, Rihand project. So on which project model Tennessee Damodar Valley project has been built, has been designed? The answer is Tennessee Valley project of America. And Damodar project is the first project of the entire nation after the independence. MCQ question number 14. The reservoir created for Bakranangal project is called Ganga Sagar, Gobinda Pant Sagar, Govardhana Sagar, Gobind Sagar. Which is the correct answer? The correct answer, the, pro, the reservoir created for Bakranangal project is Govind Sagar. So you need to know the projects for different uh, uh, you know, uh, rivers and even the reservoirs and the names given to reservoirs. MCQ question number 15. The longest dam in India is Nagarjuna Sagara Dam, Alamatti Dam, Kosi Dam, Hirakud Dam. Dear students, among the options, Hirakud Dam is the Hirakud Dam is the correct answer. Hirakud Dam, it has the stretch of about 4.8 kilometers. 4.8 kilometers of lengthy dam. It is built across river Mahanadi. Many number of small check dams are, all, are also uh, you know, built across this Mahanadi. MCQ question number 16. The reservoir has been constructed across the river Tungabhadra is Pampasagara, Govind, Govind Pant Sagar, Go, Govardhana Sagar, Mallapura Sagar. Which is the correct one? Dear students, you need to be very careful while choosing the answer. The reservoir for Tungabhadra is Pampasagara at uh, Mallapura, a village called Mallapura in Karnataka. That is in the Ballari, in the Hospet Taluk of Ballari district. Today, it's a new uh, district, Vijayanagar. MCQ question number 17. A group of reservoirs a group of rivers of Himalaya. Himalayan group of rivers are given. So you need to choose it. Sindhu, Ganga, Mahanadi, Brahmaputra, Godavari and Narmada, Ganga, Tapati and Kaveri, Sindhu, Ganga and Brahmaputra. So among the four options, the correct group of rivers of Himalaya is Sindhu, Ganga and Brahmaputra. MCQ question number 18. The river Damodar is called Saro of Bengal because silt is accumulated in river and dams, impossible to control flood, huge amount of storage of water in dams. It affects crops and life of people. Which is the correct one? Dear students, the most correct among the given options is it affects crops and life of people. MCQ 19. 
the most important type of irrigation practiced in India is tank irrigation, well irrigation, canal irrigation, sprinkler irrigation, which is the correct one. The most important type and widely practiced. Most of the people practice this irrigation and it is nothing but well irrigation. MCQ number 20. Dams are constructed across the rivers and water is stored in the reservoir and used for agriculture through canals. This is called canal irrigation, perennial canal, inundation canal, flood canal. So what do you call this? Dear students, the most correct answer among the given option, the most correct answer is perennial canal. In perennial canal, what do we do? We construct dams across the rivers, store water in the reservoir. Through reservoir, we take out a canal to supply water to agricultural field. That is why it is called perennial canal. MCQ question number 21. River Damodar was called, just now we discussed it, Saro of Bengal, Saro of Bihar, Saro of Mahanadi, Saro of Uttar Pradesh. See here, it should be Saro of Madhya Pradesh. Okay, so change it as Madhya Pradesh. Saro of Madhya, which is the correct answer? Saro of Bengal is the correct answer. So among the options, Bengal is the correct one. MCQ question number 22. Bakra Nangal project is a joint venture of the states of, so which three states have jointly invested for Bakra Nangal? Punjab, Haryana, West Bengal, Punjab, Jammu, Kashmir, Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, Madhya Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan. So among the correct, these options, the most correct one, Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan. MCQ, question number 23. This project comprises of two dams, namely Alamatti and Narayanapura and a Heidel power station. The project is, so you need to choose the project. This project comprises of two dams, namely, namely Alamatti and Narayanapura. Then which is the correct answer? Nagarjuna Sagara project, Upper Krishna project, Krishna Raja Sagara project, Tungabhadra project. Among the given options, the most correct one is Upper Krishna project in Bagalkot, right? So this is what about MCQ, dear students. Now it is the time to go for fill in the blanks with suitable answers, right? If you need to fill the blanks with suitable answers given in the textbook. Questions are here. The river Indus rises near. The longest river in South India is. Hirakud project is built across the river Dash. The longest tributary of Ganga is. The Kosi project is a joint venture of dash and dash. It should be dash and dash. Okay. So let us see the correct answer. Most of these we have already discussed. The correct answer here. River Indus rises near Mount Kailash. The longest river in South India is Godavari. Hirakud project is built across Mahanadi. The longest tributary of Ganga is Yamuna. The Kosi project is a joint venture of India and Nepal. Dear students, I wish you all the best and you have learned about 23 MCQs and 5 fill in the blanks. These fill in the blanks can be formed in the um, form of uh, in the type of multiple choice. So please learn it. I wish you all the best. And again, I come before you tomorrow with a new lesson in geography. That is the seventh lesson, India land resources. Learn all this. Share with your friends. Let them learn also. I wish you all the best. Thank you, dear teachers, for supporting us. Thank you very much.